Hey guys, it's Ricardo and we're back here on the Watch With Us channel with a new review of a micro brand watch called the HMS and it's from a micro brand called Timeless Watch. Now a little history on Timeless Watch. It was created by a gentleman called Mael Oberkampf and he's a designer who over the past five years has been designing yachts, cars, and also watches. So this is the first release from the brand called the HMS. It comes in two colors. Right here you see their matte white color and within this beautiful leather pouch that you get with the watch is the other version which is anthracite. I'm gonna put that to the side so you guys can kind of see. So this is the anthracite version of the HMS. Now to go over a few specs, the watch is 41.5 millimeters from left to right. You have a thickness here of 12.8 millimeters. Your lug to lug, which is nice and short, comes in at 47 millimeters. Inside you have an STP 1-11 movement, which beats at 28,000 800 beats per hour with a 44 hour power reserve. Your case is mostly sandblasted with a little bit of polished trim as you can see right here. If we go to the case back, the case back is nice and simple. You have some information around the edges you get a 50 meter water resistance, stainless steel, timeless, automatic, and Swiss made. Now going to the strap here, strap clocks in at 22 millimeters at these wire lugs, tapering down to 20 millimeters at the buckle that you see here. Now, if we go back to the front of the watch, you'll see that anthracite that I was mentioning. You have a beautiful guilloche pattern here towards the center of the watch. You have these beautiful four end pink gold hands and trim, which you also get here at the wire lugs, a little bit here at the crown. Your numerals are painted in white. At, we'll just pull this out. At nine o'clock, you'll see the word timeless. You also have a wheel here right at the center of the dial, which is connected to the hour hand. So when you go to set the time, you'll see that will start to move. At six o'clock, you have this cool, cool aesthetic, which is the date window, which clearly says date, but also is covered by a little bit of sapphire crystal you have the date, which is in black on a gold kind of color, that pink gold color. As I stated earlier, it's 4N pink gold. Mixed for that is 75% gold, about 9% silver, and 16% copper. If you go back here to the crown on first position, you get winding. The crown here has a little bit of PVD coating around it. On second position, you can start to change your date, as you see there. And of course, on the last position, you can start moving your time.
gonna come in here so you guys kind of see that beautiful guilch pattern that I was mentioning now the overall aesthetic you get here is kind of this black well not so much black of course the anthracite and the gold pattern which really mixes well on this watch um, as I stated about the strap it being 22 and tapering down to 20 it's actually a very nice strap nice calf strap gonna toss this on the wrist so you guys see how it looks on my seven and a half inch wrist there you go one other design element that I forgot to mention is here over at the nine o'clock on the side of the case you have a small plaque which lists the serial of the watch. So here we have the HMS number 002. Now, I've had the watch for a couple of weeks um, and I have to say, when I first saw the watch, my mind kind of went towards the route of, okay, this is your typical micro brand, with the interesting design, but I didn't really see the quality that was in this watch. And it wasn't until I actually got the watch in and actually picked it up and started wearing it that you realize just how much this watch is made very well. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. Um, it has a nice bit of weight to it. Um, all the design elements work together. The sandblasting with the anthracite and the, the pink gold trim, which you also get a little bit of that in the stitching. I mean, it all just works. The hands are an interesting set of hands, unlike anything I've really seen on any other watch. The, the Just the mixture of colors, that nice little date window and how it, it has a... A, a, its own kind of glass so you almost get little sub reflections on that date window so you get a little bit of reflection on the glass but then you also get a smaller version of that reflection on the date window which is just a, a nice nice little thing to see uh, love how the just everything just works everything just works on this design I mean, the size is perfect. The height is really nice. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. Um, the short lug to lug makes this wear really well on the wrist. Um, just the full design and what Mayel accomplished here with this design is just, it's really nice. It's really nice. Um, the best way to kind of describe it, so you guys kind of understand what I'm saying about the quality, Think less micro brand and more independent. Um, I think this is more of an independent watch. And it, 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 all these design elements, as I said earlier, they just work. They, they really do. Um, as I stated, there are two versions. You have that matte white version here, which um, I'm kind of glad I didn't get that version. I actually find the anthracite version to be more versatile. Um, so I think this is just, it's a, it's a cool, cool looking watch. It really is a cool looking watch. Haven't had a chance to try it on other straps, but I could see this really working nice on some gray straps, um, maybe a gray NATO, uh, even a black strap because you have that touch of PVD here on the crown. Um, I think, yeah, just overall the watch just really, really works. Um, if there was anything any negative that I could really have about this watch, um, I would have to say it's just the length of the hands. That's really it. Um, I wish the hour and both and the minute hand as well were just a little bit longer. I wish that hour hand kind of reached that small inner white um, white circle here, and that your minute hand actually reached out just a bit past that to <coughs> to the 
minute track over there. Um, but really, that's my only gripe. Overall, I think the watch is a really well-designed, um, really well-balanced watch. And I think if you're looking for something interesting, um, a little off the beaten path from a designer who has a, a lot of experience, I, I think this would be a great, great kind of jump um, into that realm. As for a brass tax in terms of pricing, pricing for the watch, as you can see here, is $1,450 CHF, which as of this video comes up to about $1,613.44 um, American. Um, but that completes it for my review. <laughs> Interesting tidbit. I'm actually seeing this right now. Um, one more design element is just that little bit of black right there um, at the center uh, or at your center with uh, with the hands but yeah it, it's it's interesting you, you constantly feel like you're finding new design elements and new design points on this watch uh, but as I stated they just all work that completes it for the video today guys if you have any questions uh, any comments, please drop them in the comment section below. Uh, I'm also going to drop a link to the Timeless Watch website so you guys could find out a little bit more information on the watch. But um, hope you enjoyed the review and I'll catch you guys next week with another review on the channel. Bye guys.